But as I say in the studio, we're delighted to be joined by Stephen Maguire. Stephen, mate, I'm, I'm shattered watching it. You must be absolutely exhausted. I'm ten times what you feel. <laughs> oh, it was just a long, long match. Uh, long two days, really. It, it wasn't the best stuff. And I think we dragged each other down. And that's what made it. What time's it? 12 o'clock? It's a long one, mate. It's seven hours and 11 minutes of action overall. Oh, great. Well, we're getting old, aren't we? So that's why. I mean, although that said in snooker, people are just now evergreens anymore. You can go right the way into your late 40s. We're seeing Willow do it. Oh, Jimmy's sitting here. He Correct. must be about 70, isn't he? It's 65, <laughs> I am. I'm 60, actually. You made a second. Don't look it. Very soon, the, the very final Monday, we're looking forward to it. But, Stephen, can we talk about that frame 14? That was epic. 71 minutes. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember the start of the frame, but <laughs> halfway through it, just the things that were going... The things that were going wrong and, and look at the balls. Not, I mean, it's always going to be a long frame, but there was crazy things happening out there. Um, even oh. in the pink and black, it went right down. It was crazy shots. Oh, that one. I was trying not to laugh when he done that. <laughs> um, OK. Let's get, look at this. Oh, the gap. That's what I mean. It was just, it's it's just stupid things that were happening. The game what does started. that do to you, mate? How do you feel at these points? Oh, I drained. Drained, and it's a frame that you want to win badly because you know it could turn out massive. You know, it doesn't matter if it's 10 minutes or 70 minutes, but the long ones count, don't they? The long ones are there. Yeah, absolutely. And the heart as well. <laughs> yeah, you know, he, he then steals this black. You, you must be, because you both had chances to win that frame. It was like, yeah. Goal. See, now you, you feel that he sort of got the momentum going. I, I honestly thought he'd won the match in that frame now. Wow. I did. Um, and it's probably the best thing that happened to me because I just let loose. Absolutely. From 8-7 down, <laughs> it was completely... We were talking here, it's a completely different player. You know? Absolutely. Like, that's how you want to play. That's you how, lose. Yeah, that's how you yeah. should just play. If you get beat, you get beat. But yeah. um, I don't know what happened. I just thought, just let the queue go, and if they go in, go down swinging. Oh, you played very well the last three frames. You must, like, you that's know, if you've got that form in there, you must feel that, you know, you can kick on a bit. Uh, well, I, I don't know where that came from, but... Um, it just felt as if, all right, oh, in the balls, this feels, you know, back to normal. But yeah. And then you don't get a split and you go, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just hard. It's just hard. Well, you yeah, mentioned the, the 8-7. That's that frame 16 as well. There was a big miss there as well. Oh, cheers. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry just to rub salt in the wounds here. <laughs> we have to tell you, but no, this oh, is from oh, sure, not a, from you. No, that was... But you must feel here that you're going 9-7 down the way the game's gone, 100%. Right? That, that was massive. That was... I don't know, he's looking at it. It might have turned off. But um, the way the Reds were, I, I thought, if I don't make a break here, I'm definitely out of the tournament. And I managed to make the break. And that kind of got me flowing. It got that, me. That clicked you into gear for I, me. You know, did. you did. You didn't look like you was going to miss. Okay, during the next couple of frames, you went into the pack a couple of times and finished nowhere. Yeah. But you still, you know, you still put him in trouble, and yeah. you still was ready for I'm the next go. I'm, I'm used you used to, to know, get not that. getting on a red. I'm used Are you the unluckiest I'm, player? No, no. <laughs> just, we, we, we joke about it in the office, and okay, I'm going to say about his cue because he winds me up, right? Because like I've had like two or three cues my whole career, right? He's probably had five or six this season. When he came in here, I said, is that a new cure again? He said, yeah. He said, I'm going up the road. I might change it. You know no. I mean? How can you keep changing it? They must all be exactly the same. Oh, it's the same spec, but the, the, the one that I used there was a maple, and I'm struggling to see a little bit. And uh, I've got an ash, same spec, and I, I'm going to go up. I'm, I'm not 100%, but I'm definitely going up to Glasgow tomorrow morning. And tomorrow, between now and the second round? Oh, you're I have get... to go up, yeah, yeah, I have to go up. So, straight into the practice and try, try can, the queue. At least you can practice hard at home, right? Yeah, you can practice down here. It's, it's too busy. So, um, and you guys are, you are all in the practice room. It's, it's tough. <laughs> it was like, unfortunately, it's not us. I wish it were. <laughs> but in terms of John Paris, if you speak to John Paris, obviously a queue expert, the one thing he says is the best thing to do with a queue is to throw it down mid-match. Throw it down mid-match? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did I do that? There oh. you go, look. Oh, <laughs> I was joking. It wasn't bad time. Well, that was a great red. That's, that was the same frame, but that's the sort of things that were happening. Yeah, yeah. No, that was I incredible. Felt like just Javelin it right into the crowd, but <laughs> giving it to Steve Backley. <laughs> no, I was joking there. I, yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't. No, it was no, we enjoyed it. Great spirit, wasn't it? It was. You know, no, it was. Was Sean there. It was he, he, likes to to, he likes to please the crowd and that, doesn't he? Mm. So. In terms of your exhaustion, qualifiers, Xiang Kang, Zhou Yulong as well, before you'd even arrived at the Crucible, did you feel you've got a momentum at that point, or have you kind of blown away the rust? 
I, I did. I thought I did because I had a great result against you Long. That was that was a tough match, um, and I thought right, okay. I didn't really want to play Saturday. I wanted a couple of days off, but got Saturday and I thought right, well, you've 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 won a best of eleven. You've won a best of nineteen against a great player. Good, but as soon as I got out there. It was rubbish. It Can was... I ask you? So, uh, Please did, do. Did you, you use that the cue you used now? Did you use that in the qualifying? Yeah, matches? I had it. I had it about three days before the qualifiers. Three days. Three wow. Days and and, uh, the, and the way you've finished off them last three frames, don't you think you should just stay with? I the might. Thing? No, I'm, 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 I might. I'm just going to go up and try this, and, and it's, it's, it's all about vision. Do you know right. what? See when, the, see, when the, see when the barrier came up there. Yeah. I've seen a massive difference on our table. Like I could actually see a little wow. bit better. Wow. When the other table's on, there's other lights, not just the table light, but there's other lights that, that, that are up there, like these ones. And sometimes there's like shadows on the table, and it's, it's, difficult, to, it's difficult to focus. I think people at home would have no idea about that. No, so of course they don't. Just no. the idea of that changing light changes your perception, oh, your it changes, perspective. It changes the whole... You know, it changes the arena, obviously, but it does change the lighting, and I could see a lot clearer when when it was just our table it was on. Well, I guess it's designed for individual lighting, so when you do change it, you, you, like you say, it makes an effect. Yeah, I can only just say what, you know, because I noticed that last night, we played one frame last night with the barrier up, and I noticed it right away, I went, this actually looks better. And then when the barrier came up, it's only because I played well when the barrier came up. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> so good news is, you threw to the second round. The bad news is, you got Mr. Zing Tong next. Yeah. He's in form. He's the man. So He's are you going to play the man or play the balls? Because we know that when it comes to... You, you, you're very good at playing the man. Oh, listen, I've played the game long enough. I just play. Um, but this kid's a real deal. He's um, Everybody was waiting on him a couple of years ago. Because he's got so much... He's a replica, Jimmy. He, he really is. Um, his long game's some of the best I've seen. And now he's scoring. And now he's even... You know, he's, 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 he's just competing with, with, with safety, match play. And uh, I can't speak highly enough about him. I think he's great. And just finally, Stephen, what does success look like to you coming into the world? Because like you say, you've played the game a long time, turned pro in 1999, you've won an awful lot of titles in your time. But when you think I'm at the Crucible, do you have an idea of, I want to get to the second round, I want to get to the quarters? Oh, yeah, honestly, yeah. I, I'm not, I've not got the best record here, so I'm always just get that first round and, and then you can... Uh, but is it best of 25 now and all? It's, it's a good match, you know what I mean? But um, my, my record in the first round is terrible, so I can't think anything anything by that. It's quite interesting, because actually it's the eighth time now you've gotten through to the second round, which when we think of you, we think of a person who goes deep, but it seems like the Crucible's a bit of a banana skin. Yeah, I've just come up against, you know, I, I think I've lost a few deciders and just came up against boys on form and, and no excuses. They're, they're all good players here. Well, massive match next in the second round, mate. All the best of luck. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks. Hi, I'm Ronnie O'Sullivan, and welcome to Eurosport Snooker on YouTube. Click here to subscribe to Eurosport Snooker.